So if you don't use Go, um, in contrast to languages like Java, for example, you you don't need to specify that your your structure implements an interface. You just need to define the methods with the same signature as the interface uh, has. And while some approaches like ports and adapters suggest these separate ports layers for interfaces, because you have to keep them somewhere to implement them. In Go, you can implement them just close to where they are used, which is, I think, super convenient and also in line with the idea. So you can just define an interface next to the constructor um, with the, the, the dependency it needs. And basically, it's, it's the only place that knows about the interface in your entire project. And I think it's also nice that you can uh, make it working with interface segregation principles. So you can just use some subset of the interface that you're implementing in the uh, consumer, let's say. So you don't yeah. need to always use entire interface everywhere. You can just use some subsets of the method. And it's useful when you are doing some refactoring and, for example, changing some external adapter. And you, ju- you it's nicely visible where it's uh, yeah. needed. And on the other hand, if you have the smaller interfaces, like many things become easier, like testing, because your mock just becomes one method instead of 10. That's a super nice feature of Go that uh, plays well with CleanArc. Yeah, the second problem, that is pretty a big problem, is the fact that many sources are a missing point of clean architecture. So it probably doesn't help that it's not defined that strictly, let's say. So look for good sources. So if you're writing in Go or you'd like to write, uh, write in Go, we recommend checking our blog, obviously, because we covered it already a couple of years ago and it's still totally relevant. I think even if you're writing in a different language, it's the, the many ideas are common, so it may be worth uh, checking 